was when I was uh, 15 years old, I used to take public trans transit an hour from my house to Berkeley, California, and I would go to two record stores, Rather Ripped Records and Rasputin Records. Rasputin Records still exists. And I would go immediately to the import section to see if any new heavy metal records had, had, had come from Europe. And, you know, that was my, my weekly thing was to, to, to make the migration out to Berkeley, go straight to the import section and see if there were any new albums by UFO, Scorpions, Motorhead, Tigers of Pantang, Judas Priest, you know, the whole, the whole bit. And that was even before there was a heavy metal section in record stores. It was under the title Hard Rock back then. And uh, I did that for, uh, for a good, you know, three or four years and built up my heavy metal record collection that way. And in the meantime, just learned a lot about music because that was my conduit to what was going on in the heavy metal scene in, in, in Britain and, and in Europe as a whole. And, you know, those records informed my playing style and had a lot to do with, with, with you know, influencing me and, 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 uh, uh, and, and, and really, really developing my musical aesthetic that I, I, I have with me today. And so, you know, record stores for that, for that, for me, are super important in that, you know, I kind of, uh, I kind of developed my, my own, 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 own sort of musical path while being in record stores and interacting with with you know everything record stores had to offer